Welcome everyone. This is another episode of 30 second book reviews, or at least we try to get to 30 seconds uh, with uh, Dima Sirotkin and Tan Lei. Yes. And today's... I'm going to do 30 seconds today. Today is Tan's turn and he has a challenge of making it actually exactly 30 seconds. I'm going to do it. Uh, so the book is? The book is How to Measure Anything by Douglas Hubbard. Awesome. So I'm going to give you a countdown and um, yeah. One of let's, my favorite. I love go. this guy. I love this book. I love the ideas. Yeah. But whenever you love it, it's hard to keep it in 30 <laughs> seconds. But I'm going to do it. I'm just going to... I've chosen one particular part. Just do it. Okay. Um, okay. Three, two, one, go. Okay. So the key idea that really spoke to me is measurement, measuring impossible things, measuring really difficult things. It sounds impossible because you're trying to get the exact number. Whereas the message he delivers is if you know almost nothing, then any kind of measurement will tell you something. And that's better than remaining completely ignorant. So don't be afraid to measure. If you know nothing, then any measurement will help you. Awesome. That was precisely, I think it was even like 29 or 28. Okay. Awesome. But yeah, I, I very much agree with it. And it's, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's um, very true. And I was um, talking to you about it for weeks and then you read it as well. I read it recently, <laughs> yeah. I do like it. I think, I think it's, uh, it's a good And I love the examples, you know, about the yeah. guy from, was it ancient Greek? Yeah, in Greece. Yeah, ancient Greece. So the, the guy who measured the circumference, circumference of the Earth. And the girl who measured. So there's so many examples about people measuring seemingly impossible things. Yeah, exactly. I highly recommend it. Yeah. Even even if you're not interested in statistics and numbers, but if you do like numbers, you will love it. Cool. See you next time. <laughs>